In this video a meditation for chronic pain for sleep, relaxation and anxiety relief. Guided meditation for the chronic pain relief. Chronic pain is unpleasant sensation that interferes with our daily lives. While you listen to the soothing voice that will help you explore the world of slumber in a unique way. Nestle yourself in your quilt and press a soft feathery pillow to your chest as it is a cloud. Your bed should give the feeling of sanctuary that you dearly long for. Before we begin this sleep hypnosis, forego all the thoughts that are distracting you, focus on the area that is itching. Encourage the areas of the body that are tense to relax, release the tightness in your jaw and shoulders, and loosen the grip you have on your fists. Take a steady, deep breath in and hold it for a moment as you let it sink to the bottom of your lungs before releasing it slowly. Take a few long, calm, and deep breaths to cleanse your system. Take big breaths in and out, exhaling gently in and out, and focus on how the breath feels in the body as you do so. Putting your attention on the sensation of air coming into and going out of your body. You may choose to shut your eyes if you choose, and then ask yourself to tune into a part of your body where you are experiencing pain or suffering. By breathing into and out of this location, you may make the discomfort more bearable and lessen its intensity. Check to see if you can breathe into the spot that is hurting, as if you could direct the energy of your inhalation directly into that location and then breathe out from there as well. This may help alleviate the pain. By doing so, you are linking the sensations in the area that is suffering with the breath, and you are enabling your consciousness to retain both of these things concurrently, moment by moment. You shouldn't attempt to make the pain go away or lessen it in any way, instead, you should just let whatever experience there is remain as it is. You are merely sensing the sensations in that region coupled with the sensation of the breath washing in, and washing out like waves of the ocean coming up the beach and then washing back out. Again and 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 Continue to be present with this experience without passing any judgment on it, taking the role of a neutral witness to the sensations and just observing what unfolds. Seeing how things play out within the context of her guided mindfulness meditation practices, Rosemarying encourages us to welcome full awareness of the sense of pain in order to cultivate a relationship with it that is characterized by acceptance, compassion, and intimacy. This provides a chance to learn to work with your suffering rather than walling it off, refusing or ignoring it or being overwhelmed by it. Listeners are frequently advised to allow their pain into the field of consciousness along with the flowing sensations of breathing. She discusses how we should make friends with our suffering, put out a welcome mat for unpleasant feelings, and look at our experience of pain with curiosity, compassion, and love. In order to do this, Try as much as you can to open your heart to the area of your body that is causing you discomfort or agony. You may attempt to turn softly toward it and become interested in the feelings that you're experiencing. Whether it is a continual throbbing, searing, shooting, or stabbing feeling, whether it is acute or mild, notice and examine the features of the experience without attempting to push it away. Whatever the experience may be, it is now taking place. You could start to realize, after some period of time, that your pain does not remain the same, that it is not constant, or that it is not steady. Stay with the feelings by diving into the pain completely, without attempting to block or oppose the experience, and moving from one feeling to the next moment by moment, hour by hour. 
Pain varies in intensity, even in position inside the body, and the quality of the sensations themselves. Getting past your avoidance reaction and going into the pure sensations that lie below, you will find that there are two things present. The first is a simple sensation of pain itself, and the second is your resistance to that. Sensation, which involves the story you tell yourself about the pain and the opinion you hold about it. When you get beyond your avoidance reaction and go into the pure sensations that lie below, you will discover that there are two things present. Having a resistive response often entails tensing the muscles in and around the painful place. Relax those muscles by taking them one at a time and relaxing each one properly. Just doing this step will probably make the pain a little less intense. Now you should focus on the mental aspect of the resistance. In the same way that you are tightening your muscles physically, your mind is tightening as well and you are putting a metal clamp on the pain feeling. Frequently, making an effort to filter enough information to avoid it, push it away, or reject it from awareness. This rejection is a wordless I don't like this sensation of going away attitude. Although it is extremely subtle, you may detect it if you truly seek for it, identify it, and relax it. This resistance, which Rosemarine describes as a barrier that you yourself erect a gap, a sense of distance between self and others, the borderline between me and the pain dissolves that barrier, and the separation disappears as you slow down into that sea of surging sensation and you merge with the pain. Rosemarine calls this phenomenon resistance. You internalize the suffering, you see its ups and downs, and a strange thing takes place as a result. It no longer aches, and the suffering has ended, but the agony itself continues to exist as an experience, a sense, and just energy. The version of myself that was being wounded no longer exists. The end outcome is complete and total relief from the discomfort. Now, let's try something else. Our minds are capable of integrating several experiences into our conscious consciousness at the same time. Just as we were holding our attention on the experience of breath and painful sensations in our body, we're also able to incorporate pleasant experiences into the unpleasant when feeling pain. And you can't imagine breathing in an anesthetic mist into the area of discomfort, or visualize rubbing cooling balm on your aching joints or picture a warm, soothing light on an area of pain or tension as you come to the end of this practice. Take a full deep breath taking in all the energy from this practice, and exhale fully when you are ready. Open your eyes and close. Return the attention to the room as you become fully alert. Consider setting an intention that this practice of building awareness will enhance your sense of well-being. Close your eyes and retire to bed now. Sleep well and better tonight. Sweet dreams and good vibes.